See you peasy. Okay, in this quick video, we're gonna teach you how to fix stretched textures. So we're gonna start off by adding a cube and stretching that cube out to a rectangle. Then we're gonna copy it and paste it and put another one just above. So now we have two of the same object. Now the difference between them is the bottom one, we're gonna press Control A and click Scale to apply the scale of the object. All right, to show you what that's done, choose the mesh that has not had the scale applied, click on UV Editing, press A to select all, and under UVs, choose Smart Project. And when you've done that, if you move over to the faces, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that they're all still squares and there's no rectangles. That's because this mesh still thinks it's a cube. So if we go back to Layout and choose the Scale Applied Mesh, then back to UV Editing, A to select all, and add a UV Smart Project again, and this time you'll see the faces on the side have rectangles and squares. So when you apply the scale, the mesh basically knows what shape it is. Okay, let's go up to shading mode and apply some textures to the meshes. Starting off with the mesh that doesn't have a scale applied to it, add a brick texture to it. And you can see that when there's no scale applied, the stretched rectangular faces have a stretched texture. And you can see that the faces on the side of the mesh, which are square, are totally fine. But now that we add a brick texture to the scale applied mesh, you can see that the brick texture is not stretched at all. I know it's rotated on the side, but we'll fix that later. Okay, so I've shown you how to avoid the stretching, but now I'm gonna show you how to fix the stretching. So go back to layout and click the stretched texture mesh. Press Control A and apply the scale. But what's going on? It's still the same. Nothing's fixed. Well, let me show you what to do. Basically go back into UV editing, select all, and choose UV Smart Project again and you'll see that that's fixed all your problems. So when we go back into layout mode, you'll see that the brick texture is exactly the same as the brick texture on the other mesh. A quick side note, how to rotate the brick texture. So basically we go back into UV editing and select the rectangles. We press R, 90 and enter, which rotates them 90 degrees. And when you go back to layout mode, you can see that the bricks are the correct way round. Huzzah! See you peasy.